hey guys welcome back to my channel today i'll be showing you how to sew this very easy crop top it's a bustier crop top with the plunging neckline so i folded my fabric into two like so so i'm going to get um my bust line from my shoulder line that i marked there so from my shoulder line to my bust line is eight inches then from my shoulder to where i want the crop top to end okay so i did 18 inches and i'm going to get my shoulder measurement divided by two and i marked it i did the same thing on my bust line and i'll connect it with a straight line like so So the next thing I want to do now is to get my bust span, which is my nipple to nipple measurement or bust to bust measurement divided by two. Okay. And I'm going to add half inches to it. My bust span is four inches and I added half inch to it to make it 4.5. This is because I'm cutting directly on my fabric. Okay. So I'm going to get my bust point from my shoulder. Should have done this earlier, but it's fine. Just follow me through and you will understand. So that's my bust point. I also get my under bust from my shoulder line. And I'll mark a straight line. So that's my under bust. Just extending the lines. So my shoulder line, my bust line, my bust point, my under bust and my waist line. Okay. So on my under bust, I'm also going to mark the 4.5 inches. I also do the same for my bust point. And then I'm just going to connect it with a straight line. Okay. So on my bust point, I'm going to take half inch up and half inch down. If you watch my videos, I do this a lot and when I'm drafting a bustier. And this is to create, um, to make that place balance okay and to avoid any pointiness, alright? So I'm just going to take my armhole curve. Okay, the next thing is on my waistline, I'm going to take in my dust. I'm going to take my dust and I'm going to take one inch on both sides of my waist. And on my under bust, I'm going to take 1.2. Okay. So 1.2 on my under bust and then one inch on my waist i'm just going to connect the lines like so then i'll connect it to that half inch we measured below the bust point now i'm going to come to the midpoint of my that's the midpoint of my armhole i'm going to take half inch on both sides and then I'm going to connect it to the half inch that I measured upward. That is on top of my bust points like this. Okay. So. Then I'm just going to blend that area. Okay. Blend it like so. So the next thing I want to do is to take my shoulder slope. Then I'll take my, my neck width. Okay, I'm going to do a neck width of 
and then a neck depth of 10 inches okay you see how i placed my tip that's how you're going to place your tip mark a neck depth of 10 inches okay so i'm going to connect it like so okay it's not going to be v-shaped it's going to be more like oval in shape i don't know if that makes sense just watch what i'm doing okay this is to create that plunging effect on the neckline so this is how it's going to be so i'm just going to make my shoulder slope connect it to the one inch that i marked there so now i'm going to put in my circumference so i'm going to divide my bust into four okay i'm going to mark then i'm going to add one inch that we took away remember we took half inches half inch up and down that is one inch mark it and then i'm going to add one inch that i'm going to use to join the dots okay that is half inch on both sides and then i'm going to add 1.5 inch seam allowance okay so let me take it again your waist circle your bust circle is divided by four then you add the one inch you removed on your armhole area then you add the one inch that we used to join it back then 1.5 inch seam allowance okay then i'll do the same thing for my waist take my waist measurements put it then i'm going to add remember we took one inch on both sides of my dad i'm going to add back that two inches that is one inch on both sides will give you two then i'm going to add one inch to join the dots there then 1.5 inch is allowance okay you have to add back all your dots okay especially because you're cutting on fabric just add back all your dots so there won't be any shortages so i connected the lines like so and then i'm going to cut this off please remember to add your seam allowance on your waist okay initially that's my normal length of the crop top it's 16 inches okay but i added two inches which was which made it 18 inches so measure the length of where you want your crop top to be then add two inches seam allowance okay so i got to this point and i realized that i didn't extend this other area armhole area so i'm going to do that because if you don't it's going to be shortage okay so the two inches sorry the one inch we took on that area i'm going to add it back to this side so i'm going to extend that line by one inch okay i'm just going to extend it like so and then i'm going to make a new armhole curve there okay so that's my new armhole so you have to do this okay so i'm just going to cut this is what i'm going to now cut off okay Okay, then I'm going to cut off my neck area. Okay, I'm not um actually adding any allowance because I already did. Remember, I said I would make my um neck 3.5 so that after joining, it's going to be four inches. So I'm going to use the half inch to join it. But I added, as you can see, I added on the shoulder area. Okay, so. And I'll cut my armhole. So I'll have this after cutting, okay? So let's open it up and see what it looks like.
here is what it looks like okay So we're going to cut the back. I've already ruled my necessary lines and I ruled 1.5 inch for my zipper allowance there. Okay, on the folded area. So make space for your zipper allowance. Then here's my shoulder line, there's my bust line. So I'm going to, here's my shoulder line, my bust line, then my waist, okay. This is my actual bust line, okay? The one on top was a mistake. Okay, so this is just my shoulder line, my bust line, and then my waist line, okay? Then I added the seam allowance. That's my seam allowance. So just ignore the the one on top that's the one on my bust line the one on top was a mistake second one is my actual bust line so i'm going to take my shoulder measurements do the same remember that our markings will should start from the line that we marked for our zipper allowance okay just connect my shoulder my yeah my shoulder line like so and then i'll mark my slope then I'll take my neck width, the same with the front, 3.5. Then my neck depth for the back, I'm going to take 1 inch. And I'm going to connect it like so. Now connect my shoulder slope. Then I'm going to take my circumference. Okay, first I'm going to take my dart my data of 4.5 like i did for the front then i'm going to mark half inch i'll just connect it to my bust line this is the normal width that's okay just connect it to your bust line just take the same 4.5 on your bust line and connect it down to your waist with a straight line like i did then i'm going to take half inch on both sides of my dad and then I'm going to connect it back to my bust line. I'm not going to cut this over. I'm just showing you so you know what you're going to you're going to take your dust. Okay, so I'm just going to pinch it when I'm sewing. You will see that when I'm sewing. Just continue watching. So I'm going to now take my second friends. So I'm going to mark my bust measurements. Then I'll add 1.5 inch ease allowance. Remember that our markings is supposed to start from that line we marked for our zipper allowance. So my waist, I'm going to take my waist measurement. And then I'm going to add back what I use and join the dots, which is 1 inch. Okay. Then 1.5 inch ease allowance. And then I connected it with the line. Kindly ignore the second line there just watch what i'm cutting to know what you're supposed to cut so so i just notched my dart then i opened up my zipper allowance so i'm just going to you know contour my back for this okay look at what i did i measured half inch at the midpoint of my back then i connected it up and down okay this is so to remove any bulginess on your back. You know, your spine is not straight. It's actually bent. Okay, so now I'm going to cut my face in. I'm going to be using face facing to turn the neckline. So I'll cut my back facing first. I measure 2 inches here. Then measure 2 inches there. Then I just traced out the neckline. Remember, it's two pieces of clothes because I'm cutting the two pieces of my back together. 
so this is what i have so i'm just going to connect the lines the length of your face it depends on what you want okay i did two inches because i don't want mine to be super or so long so i'm just going to connect it like this and then i'll cut that out and that would be my back face So I decided to just leave that half inch there to make it longer because I'm going to be sewing it on my neck with half of an inch, okay? So this I'm going to sew it, turn it over and then I'll have my neckline for the back ready. So I'm going to now cut the facing for the front. So here's how I'll do that. I'm going to fold my fabric like so. Okay, then I'm going to place my front pattern. Make sure that the folded area of my front pattern is matching the folded area of my fabric that I folded like this. So you're going to twist the shoulder. Then you measure two inches on that area and mark. Okay. So you're going to connect this to that place. Okay. Two inches on the shoulder to the two inches down that you marked there. So you connect it like so. And then you're going to cut it off. So make your shoulder slope that will match. So now I'm going to show you how to sew on this. Okay. Before you cut out your, your excess. Okay. It actually makes your work easier and neater. So this is what it looks like. Then I'm going to just open it up and show you how it's going to be. So you open it up like this. So it's supposed to be front facing front. So your front pattern should be facing the front of the facing. Okay. Like this. So you're going to sew it round with half of an inch. So the next thing is to cut my sleeves. I'm going to fold my fabric into four because I'll be cutting the two pieces of sleeves at once. So I'll fold it into four because I'll be cutting two pieces together.
So I'm going to take um, my armhole measurement and I will add 2 inches to it. So my armhole is 9 and I added 2 inches to it to make it 11. So I'm just going to bring down that 11 inches okay, down to the hem of first i'm going to mark the length of my sleeve okay because it's going to have an elastic okay and you're supposed to draw the elastic for it to really be full i'm going to mark um a length of a length of 14 inches okay so i marked 14 inches length and i'm going to add So I'll just bring down that line like this. Okay, so I'm just going to take the midpoint of my armhole and then curve it like so. Mark my sleeve height of three inches and I connected it like so that's that's so so I'm going to add one inch seam allowance there Then I'll cut it off. So I'll mark my Smith point of my sleeve So I have my two sleeves Okay So when we put the elastic, this is how it's going to be sort of. So now I'm going to sew my face in. Okay, I'm going to sew this with half of an inch as my front facing. So I'll just pin, pin it. Let's hold it in place with my pins. So I'm done pinning and I'm going to now sew this round with half of an inch. So I've done that, I've sewn it with half of an inch. Now I'm going to cut out this, we don't need it anymore. Okay. We cut it out gives us a perfect and neat neck perfect and neat facing then I'm going to notch 
my neckline be careful so you don't cut your seams cut through your seams just notch it slightly this is so that your neckline can relax very well okay so you notch it like i'm doing and then you're going to turn it like this okay and top stitch okay top stitch on the facing and make sure that the seam you're top stitching on the seam that is the the seam inside is facing your facing i don't know if you understand okay so you're going to top stitch your seam on the facing okay so i was done doing that okay see how relaxed my neckline is i haven't even ironed yet and it's relaxed okay that is the effect of top stitching so i'm just going to give this a good press so that it would relax more and just be flat but, but meanwhile it's looking super super flat and neat even though I haven't ironed it yet, that's because of the top stitch I made. Okay, so I'm just going to do the same thing for the back. That is, just attach the face into the back. And then I'm going to sew my darts, okay, my front darts. So I'm just going to face this to this side and sew it. The same thing for the other side. That's my side front just sew it so stone sewing here is it i'm just going to give this uh, a good press with my ham or my ball whichever one you use so now i'm going to sew the dart for my back i'm just going to pinch it like so pinch a half inch on both sides and i'll sew it to my bust line like this okay so i've sewn my dad's i'll now attach um, my zipper then join my shoulder join my size and my sleeves then i'm going to sew in half inch or one inch on the hem of my sleeve so i'll be able to attach my elastic and please to be able to, to get the perfect elastic to attach so it won't be too tight you're going to measure your rounds um and the, my nose two inches from it okay so that it won't be too tight or it won't be too loose so i was done and here is what i have please guys if you enjoyed this video give it a thumbs up thank you for watching bye